There's some famous sayings. True beauty comes from within. Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, for this review, I'd like you to keep an open mind until the end, because this is the Citroen Berlingo, and it's because of its unstyled looks that it has such a high roof line and slabby sides. But that means space and lots of it. Look at this, three proper size seats for three average size adults. They even recline. So if you like going on driving holidays and you stop for in-car picnics, I dare say this is a lot more comfortable than being squeezed into the back of a normal car. They even come equipped with trays for said in-car picnics. No, I mustn't stop for lunch. I need to show you the space in the boot. And as for the size of this boot, well, you could quite easily fit everything you need in here for a camping holiday. And if you need extra seats, you can go for the seven seater option. But if you want to use your Berlingo as a van, you can even remove the seats altogether. Spec levels are generous. You get electric heated mirrors and air conditioning as standard. And if you go for the XTR over the VTR, you get a child pack, which includes this little mirror here. So you can keep an eye on them and make sure they're behaving. And whether you're very tall or not, there's enough adjustment in the seat for you to get comfortable. Now, as for storage, I was expecting a small compartment here, but I feel a little bit like Mary Poppins and I'll show you why. Forget the car buy a big bottle test, it's the car buy a big handbag test. I could almost fit in there myself and that's not where it ends, there's so much storage in this car. And that's it. It drives a little bit like a van, which is not necessarily a bad thing because you sit high up and there's a good commanding view of the road. And the windows are large, which means visibility is really good. Considering the type of vehicle that it is, I'm genuinely impressed at how well it handles bends in the road. The suspension actually does a very good job. I was expecting it to roll about a bit more. It copes very well with some mildly enthusiastic driving, as does the engine. The one we're in today is a capable diesel and it returns over 50 miles to the gallon. However, that does bring me onto the car's negatives because increase your speed too much and the road, wind and engine noise gets quite unpleasant. Then there's the gearbox. Well, I think it could do with an extra gear. Finally, there's the interior. This is just hard plastic. It doesn't feel very nice and it's not even the same colour as the car. Well, that pretty much sums up the Berlingo. And because of its van origins, commercial vehicles normally suffer a much more punishing daily routine. So reliability shouldn't be an issue here. Plus, the mechanics are very simple and the engines are tried and tested. So if it's extra space or extra seats that you're after, you could find it's one of the cheapest on the market.